part two. Sorry about that. Um, a trick I started doing when I was bodybuilding, because again, you just don't have time and you have to eat so much, um, more than the, the average Joe, he's just doing some weights here and there. Um, it's literally a full-time job, <laughs> carrying your food everywhere and training three times a day, like sometimes up to seven hours in a day you're training when you're bodybuilding, because you're not just doing weights. Um, is basically preparing your food. So I would prepare my food once or twice a week. I'd do massive batches of meat, etc. And now I do the same thing, but with vegetable and plant-based. So I will actually shred up a whole um, Tupperware container full of uh, kale. I'll shred another one up full of carrot. I'll shred another one up full of cucumber. And that way I can just take and go every day without having to pull out the blender or without having to cut everything up every day three times four times a day so i will add some links to how i go about doing that and yeah the other one i like is uh, shredded beetroot in my salad boxes so i'll refer to them as salad boxes that i can just take and go with bits and pieces every day so that's what I usually have for lunch or, you know, late lunch is a, a, a toasted sandwich with uh, soy, with amazing amino soy, soy um, sauce. Uh, again, make sure your soy is non-GMO. And I love ginger. I actually saute in water the ginger slices with that. I just love soy, ginger and soy sauce. All together and sometimes I'll actually marinate it in apple cider vinegar I know weird taste um, and I use the um, half of an avo half of a small avocado to blend and make an avocado dressing for the salad bowl itself so later on mid-afternoon I will have close to pretty much half a packet of pasta I will cook it with heaps, the sauce with heaps of herbs. I'll actually have half a bottle. This is an 800 ml. Is it 800 ml? Let me have a look. Yeah, 800 ml bottle. So I'll have a 400 ml serve of just puree tomato. In that, I like to add garlic and onion. Um, the herb, I feel like the basil. Um, I tend to use dried herbs. And I will top things with fresh herbs, is how I tend to do it. And I sprinkle nutritional yeast over that, which is my vitamin B12, which, as you know, is usually injected into animals, and that's why people get vitamin B12 when they eat animals, because the poor animals have been injected with it. <laughs> and, yeah, so it's, it's not that good. And then for supper, late supper... You don't see it here, but I will have a cup of lentils or legumes, dried weight, and they will be slow cooked throughout the day in the slow cooker whilst I go about doing everything. And about half an hour before I serve them up, I will pour in about three cups worth of green leafies, you know, broccoli, kale, celery, um, leek, I like leek. Hello. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll have it half half an hour after that cooks. But that, that's pretty much my food fat. So as you can see, like if I was to be eating a meat-based diet and I wasn't a professional bodybuilder or anything like that, like I used to be, I would literally probably have um, four serves of meat here for a week. I'll have like a, a puny bit of veg and a bag of rice um, and some veg. I'll probably only go through um, one of these boxes every couple of weeks. Okay, because the protein is like the main source of your, your food. And then I'd be spending gazillions on supplements and protein powders and da -da 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 -da, on it goes. Um, so... As you can see, it's a large volume of food you have to eat when you are vegan. And that is the best way to get all your vitamins and minerals. Um, 
foods, even when they are fresh and they're vegetables, they're not as good as what they used to be. So you, you have to consume even more from that. And also get a little bit savvy on combining your foods to get the best absorption. So um, get keyed on, on eating t uh, avoiding eating too much dark leafy greens of certain fruits and vegetables in order to not have them impacting what you're absorbing. Um, having consuming vitamin C rich with your iron sources is a good way to make sure you get bang for your buck. But overall, our micronutrients, which is your vitamins and minerals and your botanicals, we have guidelines that are way too high. There is a minimum range, and I recommend the minimum range. And uh, pay attention to your body, and you will start to learn and develop if you're missing or lacking something. Um, and if you're scared, <laughs> get a blood test. If you trust them, I don't. <laughs> I just, I, I, I hate needles best of times, but I, I just don't trust the medical industry. I don't trust them with my blood. I don't trust them with my DNA. I don't trust them with anything. I don't even trust them with my furball. Um, so, yeah, I, if, you, if you're really feeling scared about going plant-based, about, oh, you're going to become deficient at this or the other, get a blood test. And do a good, good job of it. Trial it. And then get the blood test at the end of your trial. You know. Um, but yeah, so that's, we're in summer now, so I'm a little bit melted. So is the, the cat. You hot shark? <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this over two takes, but you know. The camera stops at 10 minutes. I have that so I don't waffle on and lose time. Um, but yeah, I will do a blog with the info of this shopping list. I will also hit links on tips to uh, cut back on processing and food prep time and how I go about it. Um, also, I will... That was a very important point and it's just gone through my head because I'm hungry, you see. I was sort of delayed making the food and that sort of thing, so I was stuck doing something. You know, I can't think too well on an empty brain, I should say, not an empty stomach. <laughs> my brain needs carbs. Um, oh yeah, and so I'll also attach a, a link to a um, average day of what I eat and my bread and butter, for lack of a better word, meals that I like to have, which are very simple, uh, clean and whole food. So that's it from me today, and I hope I inspired you to go plant-based, to eat more, and try it vegan if you haven't for a while, or freshen up your vegan patterns. We do get a bit lazy sometimes, there's a lot of vegan junk food out there, which is actually quite nice um, but not the best for you long term and a staple and oh yeah of course as always do not consume any oils and watch out for the hidden oils there's some canola oil in this which really annoys me um, I do like to make my own bread but you know it's pretty good anyway but you know I, ideally I wouldn't even be consuming this bread I'd be consuming a wholemeal bread I make or an organic one that has no added oil in the mix but yeah so that's it from me today and yeah if you go vegan you gotta eat a lot more you may be getting more um, calories for smaller amounts of food being protein meat based but you're gonna miss out on the micronutrients which are more important and you're gonna get sick in the long term blessed be